Hey, it's Hawken with Top Don. Today we're just gonna do a quick video, and this is what we would call a tech tip on using the Top Don oscilloscope. This is something that a lot of our users are maybe not familiar with or aware of, but the Top Don oscilloscope here is actually a shared ground oscilloscope. Now, you may not know exactly what that means, and we're gonna show you exactly what that means on an actual vehicle. Now, we're also gonna explain this just a little bit here when we show you a test lead. So most of the scope test leads that you find are going to have, on one end here, the BNC connection that screws into your scope, and then on the other end, you're gonna have a four millimeter banana jack like this. Most scope leads come with two, a colored one, which is your signal lead, and a black one, which is typically gonna be used for ground. So, you're probably asking yourself, so what are we talking about here? Well, how does this affect how I use the scope? We're gonna show you. So, when we use the Top Don Oscilloscope, if we are going to make use of more than one channel, we only need to ground one channel. Or, if we would like to ground every channel, they need to be grounded to the same place on the vehicle. This is usually where people have some trouble. So we're gonna take you over to the car and we're gonna show you a little bit more in detail so you can have a better understanding of what exactly we're talking about. Okay, so just make a quick clarification here at the car. No matter how many channels we are using on the scope, we only need to ground one of the four or if we're using two or three, we only have to ground one channel. So we'll show you what this looks like in the real world here. On our leads today, we have the blue lead has a signal channel, which is the colored lead, and a ground channel, which is the black lead. Our other three leads here do not have a ground attached. We can attach a ground, but they are not attached by default. Most other scope leads you see will have a ground that is always attached. Basically, what that means is as we set this up, we wanna make sure that if we're gonna use the grounds for more than one channel, they all go back to the same place. So in this case, we've got the blue channel or blue lead connected directly to battery negative, which means if we had a ground on any of the other channels, those would also need to be connected to battery ground not some other place on the vehicle as far as grounds go, okay? So again, if we're gonna use one ground, battery negative, if we're gonna use more than one channel, still only need that one ground, but if you want to ground the other channels, they need to be grounded to the same place on the vehicle that the first channel is grounded to. That is a golden rule on a shared ground scope. There are other shared ground scopes, obviously besides the Top Don, but no matter what shared ground scope you're using, you need to always either ground one channel or put all of the grounds to the same place 